Lent this year comes on the same day as Valentine's. And while many people will be enjoying those chocolate candies, a local family has an expensive reminder about keeping that sweet tweet treat away from certain members of your family. 41 Action News anchor Kirsten Dubill has the story of a dog who doesn't want to hear anything about your chocolate. Where are you going? You can tell when they've done something wrong. Come here. Even the most well-behaved dogs. Did you eat my chocolate? Don't like to face disappointment. Francie? It was a special day this past weekend. Sit. Did you eat my chocolate? It was our anniversary and I left chocolates on the bed. Did you eat my chocolate? But then... Came upstairs to chocolate wrappers all over the floor. At first, kind of funny. And then it clicked. Chocolate's not good for dogs. But a call to the vet confirmed the family's fears. My husband threw her in the car and ran her out there. They pumped her stomach. And then they um, gave her charcoal to absorb whatever else was in there. Then on IVs through the night, the chocolates ended up costing the family. The bill was almost $900. Blue Pearl emergency vet Ryan Bragg says this is actually common. So we see it at Halloween, we see it at Christmas. We see, we'll see a lot of it this week with it being Valentine's Day. If it happens in your house, they'll want to know how much chocolate, what kind, and if there was a wrapper. The chocolate won't be a cause of problem, but then they develop an obstruction because they ate the bag that the chocolate was in. This Valentine's Day, keep your chocolates up high to keep your pets safe and your money. A very expensive mistake, but worth it. Our thanks to Krista DeBill for that story. Experts say the danger depends on what kind of chocolate the dogs ate. Dark chocolate is really bad for them, worse than milk chocolate, in fact. And just how much is a concern? Well, your veterinarian can help determine exactly when your dog needs to seek medical attention.